Okay, so we'll solve this detail drawing uh, problem using AutoCAD. So first we want to identify the front view and draw uh, with fully defined dimensions the three most important uh, views. So front, top, side. That's A and then B will create a section view and then C will apply linear or dimensional and um, geometric tolerances. So let's switch over to AutoCAD. Now you can draw the views in uh, the orthogonal views manually or you could model this in 3D and generate the views. I'm going to use the second method. So let's begin. So, of course, I can always go to uh, new, uh, I'd always prefer to make sure I'm using a CAD ISO. And then I am using mechanical, so I'll switch the workspace here to 3D modeling. If you are using default AutoCAD, you can switch from drafting and annotation to uh, 3D modeling just as we've done there and then uh, as usual I would like to dock the command window and then in here select southeast isometric and type in UCS icon and I want no origin I want to move this to the corner so no origin like that uh, now I'm ready to draw. So if we look at the exercise given to us, uh, I think we can draw this view here and then extrude it to get the bottom part and then we would continue from there. So looking at the dimensions, you know, uh, we can make, we can perform whatever calculations are required and then and then draw. Okay, so let's go back to AutoCAD. Now, looking at where I want to begin from, it is only right that I switch from weld to right, right? And then I'll draw in the view uh, needed and continue. Right, so uh, let's go for um, line. Then I want to start at this point, zero, tab zero. And I'm going to move, let me turn on the also mode. So I am going to move at a distance of half of 38. And that should be 19, right? So um, 19. Okay, and it seems small, so you may have to maybe zoom in. Uh, let me pan this back to the middle and hit escape. And then uh, up by four, and then to my right by eight, and then up once more uh, by 12, and then um, all the way back here. So I'll just use mirror select all these hit enter and then mirror them all to get this other side and then i'll go for no okay so uh, what i can do is again i can select them all and then join just to be sure now what i can do is i can extrude the entire thing by uh, can through this entire thing. I don't know which direction would like. Uh, let's go to the other direction, uh, maybe. And that should be 89. Like that. Okay, and then we say Z enter, A enter. So this is what we have. And if we switch from here to conceptual, Okay, so that is that now. Uh, 
um, what I can do next, I can change this to the top so that the grids are on top like that. And then I want to draw in um, the boss. Okay, so uh, let's go back to top and then let me switch to 2D wireframe. Okay, so I would now draw in a circle um, that is from the, uh, has to be the midpoint, right? And the distance here should be 38. Okay, and then um, the diameter is 28. So, of course, the radius is going to be 14 like that and let me go back to uh, let's go back to say world okay so it's down there somewhere I can just get it so I'll click on it and then move it up uh, by a distance of 16. Okay. So once I do that and I switch to conceptual, it should be available here for me. Okay, so I will now pull that up by three. Right. And then I still can go for a circle and that circle, I can draw that here and that's the hole that is going through. So the hole has a radius of, has a radius of 6.5, which is half of 13. So 6.5, so I'll draw that. And then I can use press pull and then pull through this and that will create a hole for me or for us. Okay, now we left with the... So this is what we've done so far. We, we have um, this portion here to go. So let's look at how we are able to construct that portion as well. Okay, so for that, perhaps we can switch to, to right. And then um, I can get a circle. This time I'm just going to use center diameter. And from this midpoint to where that circle is located, that's a distance of 41. So 41. And the diameter, as we know, is 13. Right, so the diameter there is 13, and then we have uh, an arc of radius of 17. So let's just use a circle, center radius, that's what I have. So center radius, and then of course the center is that, and the radius should be 17. And now I have a line that is connecting from this point so that it is tangential to that. And then another line which starts from that point and is tangential to that. So make sure your tangency is on. And then now I can connect um, this line to that line. And then trim. Uh, let me click on cutting edges and select these as my cutting edges. Hit enter. 
now I can click in here to cut um, now if I were to go for press pull and try that will it work okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then the line there to be quite difficult to get the line right okay so what else could I do okay so uh, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to select the line work which is all of that and then I can click on that arrow and move it back like that and then line I will now connect this to that and let's try press pull okay so let's join them all together so we join them all like that let's try press pull again okay that's fine uh, it looks like it's not selecting the okay so let's select press pull and then click on that and the diameter there or the thickness rather I should say that's 13 so 1 3 and then I'll go for press pull again and then I'll just pull this one out which will cut it out for me now I'll go for move and then select this hit enter grab it by this corner and then position that here right and that is what we are looking for so now I let me switch to, back to world and then I can go for flat and then a radius 3 and then this is the edge I'm looking for so I'll just click there then hit enter and enter again so that is done for okay so what we'll do next is let's join the two parts so we can select this and select that hit enter so now they're joined and then we go for fillet so the fillet radius we can start with five so five and then enter and then now we can click here and hit enter and then uh, maybe enter again and now we go for we go back for fillets and then this time the radius should be three and then what we're looking for is to click on that edge hit enter and then click on chain then click on these other parts and hit enter and that's basically that basically would be what we are looking for as a solution so you make sure you are consistently saving your work okay so now I can maybe select these and delete them if I were to switch to realistic you know I can have that uh, I think I still have this drawing so I can delete that as well okay so we done with the model we can quickly maybe switch uh, to the layout and then 
switch through the layout and generate the views.